If you are worried about losing your NAS data, whether you are using a DS1522 Plus or any Synology model, backing up everything to an USB hard drive or even a pen drive is quick, easy and disaster proof. So let's get started. Now, first of all, if you got a huge amount of data, you'll have to back them up separately into different hard drives. Now, after that, first just plug in your hard drive or pen drive to one of the USB ports to the NAS machine. And then straight log into your Synology admin or any user account. Now, from the dashboard, if you see that an external storage is showing in here, that means your external hard drive is functional and they are properly connected. After that, from control panel, go to external devices. Now, it's recommended that before performing any backup process, it's better if you format the drive to start fresh. So from here, just go ahead, select format, and then select the entire disk. Now, if you want to use this drive just for the backup purpose, select the EXT4 type or you can select FAT32, which is compatible with both Mac and Windows. Totally your call. And then just press OK. Now a warning will be there that this will delete everything from the drive. Just press yes. Now the format is done. Now, what you need is the Hyper Backup Package. So let's open up the Package Center and simply search with Hyper Backup. And when you find it, just install it to your NAS. Meanwhile, from file station, what I can do is just make sure you got the files or folders sorted that you want to back up. Now here, just select whether you want to back up specific file or the entire Synology NAS server. In case you're hard resetting the machine, like whatever you want. After that, press next and then select a local shared folder or USB since we are backing up on the external drive. Press next. Now here, just decide whether you want to select single or multiple versions. Now, multiple versions will be compressed, but won't be accessible or readable from different devices, unlike the single version. You can select whatever you want and then just press next. Now just go and select the external drive folder here. In case multiple hard drives are connected to your NAS machine, just select the one that you want to back up into. Changing name into something recognizable will make it easier to find your backup folder if you've got thousands of folders in your NAS. Now here, just go ahead and select the specific folder that you want to back up and then press next. Now if you want to back up your NAS apps or packages, you can select them from here. And then press next. Some more backup settings will be here in this section. You can enable backup schedule in case your hard drive is attached and it'll auto backup files in there. And then just go ahead and give the task a name. And then you can check some other settings as well. After that, go next. Select the number of versions to backup in case you update or make changes to your data. And then press next. A summary of all your backup settings will be in here. You can go back and edit, you know, some of the settings if you want, or you can just press done. And there it is. From this pop-up, just press yes. All right, the backup process will start immediately, depending how much data you got, if you're backing up your full NAS or specific folders, this might take a while. Don't worry about that. When it's done, you will get notified of the process is successfully completed. Now from file station, if you go to the external drive, you will see the data that I've selected all are being transferred in there. Now since the backup is completed, if you want, you can eject your hard drive and then securely store it. Now, in case, if you need to restore it anytime, just plug it into your NAS, log into your server account, open hyper backup package, Click on this clock or restore icon, select the folders or the entire system, wherever you've backed up and you want to restore, and then press next. Select whether you want to restore with or without the system configuration. Now, just go ahead, press next after that, and then select the folder, and then select if you want to restore packages with your backup. 
Press yes in this pop-up and then just press done. The restoration process will start one after another according to whatever data you have chosen to restore. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.